one Jay-Z or two Jay-Z? Pretty simple question, but if you think hard, you cannot answer straight away. Both engines are very similar, however, there are some differences between them, which must be taken under consideration when choosing one of them. I have found a nice article on dustrunnersout.com, I think it is very interesting, link is included in the video description. Every 1JZ came as inline 6 cylinder, just like 2JZ, but with 2.5 liter of displacement. Bore and stroke of cylinders are 86 by 71.5 mm. Later versions of 1JZ have got VVTI system, but one of the most important fact is that 1JZ has parallel turbocharging system, meaning there are two same size turbos side by side. On the other hand, there is 2JZ. Most of the components are shared with 1JZ, but the biggest difference is its displacement. Cylinder bore remains the same, but stroke was extended to 86 mm. As both bore and stroke of 2JZ are equal, the engine has so-called square cylinders, which ended up with 3 liters of engine volume. Equal bore and stroke provide better balance between low-end torque and high-end power. And on top of that there is again turbocharging system. But compared to 1JZ, 2JZ has sequential system with one small turbo for low-end RPM, which can spool up faster, and one bigger turbo for stronger top-end horsepower. Now let's talk about direct comparison of their output abilities. It is very known and popular that the 2JZ can hold more power, and yeah, that's understandable considering extra half of displacement. So when you make calculation of horsepower per liter, you end up with approximately same figures to 1JZ. It is said that stock 1JZ bottom end is good for 650-700 horsepower, while 2JZ is good for about 800 horsepower. Put that into perspective and you will find out that both make roughly around 270 HP per liter. So when power output is pretty much the same, why should I choose smaller 1JZ, you may be asking now. Well, the different capabilities have basically already been spoken. Since 1JZ has shorter stroke, it tends to rev more quickly, but lacks low-end torque due to shorter stroke and small displacement. That's why better usage for 1JZ is track use, let's say drifting. 2JZ is just opposite. It is better for street use. Thanks to longer stroke and bigger cylinders, you have got more torque at low revs, and smaller turbo can spool up much faster. If you like this type of video and want to see more, let me know in comments below which engines would you like to see compared.